Hi, we're going to review your MT1 final affirmation right now, and I'm also going to model the type of work I want to see when you submit your answers. Uh, I noticed I went to the second time you took this test, but it looks like you just given up because you weren't improving. So we're just going to go over these questions. They'll be similar to what you have. Now, we're told in, in question one, Angle WXZ is 87 degrees. So I would draw this picture out and label WXZ as 87 degrees. Angle 1 is 37 more than angle 2, which means you don't know anything about angle 2. I'm going to call angle 2X. So angle 1 is going to be 37 more than that. Notice it's not 37 degrees. It's 37 more than that. Now we can use our angle addition postulate that says, hey, if we take the measure of angle 1, plus the measure of angle 2, we get the measure of angle WXZ. Well, angle 1 is X plus 37. Angle 2 is X, and angle WXZ is 87 degrees. The parentheses don't have a lot of meaning here other than to show, to keep it organized. So it's really X plus 37 plus X equals 87 degrees. Well, we can come on our like terms. X plus X is 2X. So 2X plus 37 equals 87. Now we'll do the algebra. To get X by itself, we want to undo adding 37. Well, the opposite of adding, we're going to subtract 37 from both sides. So then we get 2X equals 50. Now to solve for x, we divide by 2, and x would be 25. Well, x is angle 2, isn't it? So that's all we were looking for on that particular question was to find x, which is 25 degrees. Let's take a look at another question here. In the figure below, angle 1 is x plus 28 and angle 2 is 3x. Find the measure of the angles. The one thing you have to notice, if you add these two up, it's a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So in other words, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees. I think I'm going to go in here and I'm going to label angle 1 is x plus 28, and angle 2 is 3x. So we're going to say x plus 28 plus 3x equals 180 degrees. Well, let's combine our like terms. We can combine x and 3x, which is 4x. So you get 4x plus 28 equals 180. Now we'll do the algebra. To solve for x, we're going to minus 28 from both sides. When we do this, draw your line, bring down your 4x. 28 minus 28 is 0, so you don't have to write anything, equals 180 minus 28. Well, let's do the arithmetic. 10 minus 8 is 2. Got to borrow 1. 7 minus 2 is 5, so you get 152. Then divide by 4, because you're taking 4 times x. You see 4 goes into 15 3 times. You're going to have three left over, so 38 degrees, because four goes into 32 eight times. Now, we're not done. Unlike the last problem, X is not one of our answers. We have to find both angles. We want to find angle one, which is X plus 38. Try that again, X plus 28. My memory's failing me there. So to find angle 1, we're going to say 38 plus 28, which is 56. Now to find angle 2, we're going to take 180 minus 56 degrees. Ten minus six is four. 7 minus 5 is 2, so you got 124 degrees for angle 2. 
you could have also taken 3 times 38 and got the same answer. Let's take a look at another one here. We have x and z. Well, we can't solve an equation with both x and z, so really what you want to do is we want to look at the two angles with x in them. Notice they're vertical angles because they're across from each other. Vertical angles are congruent. So we're going to set up an equation here. We're going to say, oh, 11x minus 6 equals 13x minus 20. Well, the algebra, I always like to use this, move the smaller x. You want all the x's on one side, so we're going to minus 11x from both sides. you got more than one way to do this correctly, but I'm going to do it this way. So bring down the negative 6, because 11x minus 11x is 0, equals 13 minus 11 is 2x minus 20. Then... We'll add 20 to both sides because the opposite is subtracting because you want to get x by itself. So we're going to add 20 to both sides. And you get negative 6 plus 20 is 14 equals 2x. We'll divide both sides by 2. x equals 7. And that's what you're supposed to find. Now let's go back and let's find the measure of one of my angles. Let's do... 11x minus 6, because I can do that quicker in my head than I can do the others. 11x minus 6. Well, we know x is 7. So 11 times 7 is 77 minus 6. That would be 63 degrees. So this angle is 63 degrees. Well, you notice this angle and z, they're a linear pair. They add to 180. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take 180 minus 63 degrees. Ten minus three is seven. Seven minus six is one. So you get 117 for z, and that's what we're looking for there. Okay, when we name a plane, or when we look at a plane here, it says another name for plane X is what? Well, here's plane X. We want to pick three variables or three letters in this plane that are not all in the same line. The only thing you can't name it, you can't name it EFC because they're all in the same line. EFA would be a correct answer. It could have also been um, FCA. So you have a couple different choices there. Now, cold planar, we need four points. They're all in the same plane. Oh, I think we got it. We got it. E is one of them. So we'll go F, C, and A. All those points are in the same plane. B, blank and blank, are distinct points that are collinear. So I need three points that are all in the same line. Well, three points on the same line would be E, F, and C but they want B. So I guess we're going to use this, whoops, we're going to use this line here. So B, C, and D are all, all on the same line. And then finally, line FC, where's FC? Here's FC. That intersects what line? Now you can name a line with two points, so there's more than one correct answer here. I like line BD. That would work. You could say line BC, you could say line CD, they're all correct. That's all you had to do for that one. Okay, this one, you're, you're halfway right. But what you forgot is distance must be positive. So distance has to be positive. Excuse me, I'm going to have to get a zoom going here. So since distance has to be positive, I'm going to put my number line here. And on this number line, hey, I'm right here. I'm finishing another seminar with somebody right now, so just give me a second, okay? So you, we know y lies at 5. I think I'm going to, I'll finish this later.